Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Mm, this is my super cute project I designed for my Facebook Live event. Um, we have the Facebook Live event yesterday and we almost finished this. So uh, this is actually the first time I'm showing this uh, project. The inspiration was the um, basket for strawberries and I tried to recreate this look with handle and I create this uh, kind of uh, summery uh, basket for flowers and I think it's perfect because today we have the first day of summer. Because this project contains a lot of elements, I decide to split this tutorial in two parts and actually in this part I will show you how to create the base for this card. First, I just want to say thank you, big, big, big thank you for all your support as we reach 500 subscribers this week and it really um, means a lot that you already trust me to be subscriber for this YouTube channel. So uh, actually I start preparation for giveaway and uh, it should be in July. So stay tuned and of course I invite you to join my uh, Christmas in July series. So I'm assembling the paper collection pieces to my base and I am working in these two bases separately because uh, if I connect them first uh, this piece will be long and uh, not quite handy to you know work with uh, to assemble the pieces. So time to time uh, it happens even for me that I adhere the um, paper collection pieces to my flaps upside down. Uh, so I discover that if you fold it down, these uh, flaps, then you will know exactly how to um, add the paper collection pieces. So it's also um, another tip uh, to make uh, assembling the base easier for you.
Okay, so this is the most important part of this tutorial, so uh, watch closely. I start assembling inner pieces for my box card from the first and last stripe. Uh, usually I uh, adhere the middle pieces on the end. In this case we have only three stripes, so uh, I have only one middle stripe. When I assemble first stripe, I look into my uh, fold line in the base as a reference to make sure my first stripe is straight. Adhering the second stripe is much, much easier. I'm taking the first stripe as a reference, uh, so um, I just uh, look if my uh, second stripe uh, is lined up with the first one and I fold them together to the right and to the left, I'm checking everything. I think it's much much easier to use wet glue to assemble the box card pieces because wet glue gives you few seconds just to correct all the uh, pieces as you want them to be. For my last stripe I'm looking for the other stripe as a reference, I'm checking everything and uh, because I'm using wet glue I have few seconds to correct the position of my stripe inside my box card base. And on the end it's um, also my own developed technique for assembling the box card. I'm share with you to celebrate my uh, 500 subscribers achievement. Uh, I add the glue for all my flaps and I close the base in half. I give it few seconds to assemble and that's it. It works a magic. <laughs> You will be surprised, but base are very, very nice and tidy. You don't have glue anywhere, everything is straight and the box base uh, basically folds in both sides, as you can see. So this is my finished box card base. I hope uh, you like it and you give it a try because my technique is uh, awesome. <laughs> it makes my work much, much easier. And if you create um, the box card with my technique, using my technique, please tag me in so I can uh, see your project. And uh, what more? I invite you to um, subscribe my YouTube channel as we will create um, finish this uh, this card together and of course as we will also have the uh, Christmas series Christmas in July very very soon so stay tuned and I hope to see you soon bye